Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm Jenna. And we're from Cool Cleveland. We interviewed all seven candidates competing to be Cleveland's next mayor in 2021. Zach Reed. Ross DeBello. Kevin Kelly. Justin Bibb. Sandra Williams. Bashir Jones. And Dennis Husinich. We asked all the candidates the same three questions, and their answers will come to you as three different videos. This is the second video, so if you missed the first one, go check it out. Today's question is... What will be the toughest problem for you to tackle while in office, and how will you do it? Candidates could easily pick out the issue that's going to be the hardest for them, but kind of struggle to tell us what exactly they're going to do to tackle it. Here are their answers. Well, that, that's an easy one. Uh, I guess it's two. One, uh, it would be public safety, and the other one would be improving the educational climate here in the city of Cleveland. People move into the city based on a, a number of reasons. One is public, but one, the two at the top are public safety and education. And, you know, to try to get the type of educational system here in the city of Cleveland that I had when I, when, I, when I graduated from the Cleveland Metropolitan School District. So when I left that school, when I left John F. Kennedy after graduation, I knew I was ready for the real world. I want every student that graduates from Cleveland Public School to know that they're ready, they've got the education, they've got the fortitude, they've got, they should have the mindset that they can go out into the real world and solve whatever problem they have. And that's why I think that we got to do something about the educational system here in the city of Cleveland. Well, I think number one in the nation in poverty, right, for big cities. So that'll be the toughest problem probably whoever gets in office because that has that domino effect, that trickle down effect to a lot of the, the real problems that, that we have that are horrific and humanitarian. And I think it's about changing the economy. So um, using the, the bully pulpit and the budget that you have uh, and the partners that you'll decide to partner with and decide to not partner with um, to attack that number one in the nation poverty ranking. The toughest problem to deal with is going to be crime and safety. Because it's something that has always been with us and we just have to really reinvent how we're doing it. We need to really look at uh, making sure that we're giving, we're supporting the police with the tools and training they need. We need to make sure we're doing true community policing and we need to make sure that we're addressing the root causes of, of crime, which are poverty, disinvestment, um, hopelessness. We have, to, we have to get there. That's going to be a great big challenge, but it's one that's going to start on day one. Our culture of complacency, I think that's the biggest thing holding Cleveland back right now. Is that we have had a culture of complacency on many of our issues from solving the child poverty crisis to solving our affordable housing crisis to making sure we have adequate public transit all across our city. And I intend to bring that sense of urgency to, to break that culture of complacency. The toughest problem, I believe, is public safety. That's an issue that's gonna be number one on my plate because that's the issue everybody in the city of Cleveland is talking about. It's gonna be a very difficult um, issue to tackle because there are so many different dynamics that go into crime within our city. It's a, uh, a symptom of our educational system. It's a system of our housing. It's a system of uh, jobs. Uh, it's, it's, it's systematic within our community. And if I can tackle all the things that play a role in crime within our community, I believe we can solve the problem. It might be difficult, but other cities have reduced crime, and I know Cleveland is the city that can do it as well, under my leadership. I think the toughest problem is a lot of people are beginning, as we saw with our census, are beginning to leave the city. So I say it's a tough problem, but I don't think it's uh, unachievable. We have to gain trust back from the community. And the way that we do that is making sure that we have an accountable government, that people feel that their concerns are being heard. And one of the things that I do here in Ward 7, in Ward 7 rather, is you're going to always see me. You don't just see me walking around during election time. You see me all the time walking throughout my community. They know that when I say something, I mean it. And, uh, and as a result of that, 
their trust grows, and they decide not to leave. And that's what we have to do. We have to increase our population in our city. I think it's poverty. You have to keep in mind that 20% of the people who live in Cleveland right now are making $10,000 or less a year. A third of the city is living at or below the poverty line, and half of the children are living at or below the poverty line. We have to, we must address poverty. How do you do that? Jobs programs for those who are able to work. Uh, and, and that involves using city resources, some from the 511 million, but also the federal government's gonna need to get involved in Cleveland and cities like Cleveland because the poverty level is so extreme that we can't handle it only on, you know, just with our own resources. I think the federal government already recognizes that with the first tranche of the American Rescue Money.